Claudia Ripsich has been following the story and joins us now. Claudia, the work is far from over. Dominique, construction crews demolished the building overnight. This morning, they were uncovering materials that may still be burning. You can see in the rubble pieces of what used to be the collector's lair. Things like baseball cards, comic books, and vinyl records. Crews with the Lynchburg Fire Department say it will be days before the marshal knows the cause of the fire. He is in the middle of the investigation, which includes way more than work here. There's a lot of interviews that are conducted, and then the work that will be done here will, will also continue tomorrow. Battalion Chief Keith Johnson says they do believe they know where the fire started, but they won't know for sure until crews start hauling away the debris and they can continue their investigation. The battalion chief also says the smoke will likely be around for a while. See the smoldering parts of it, but the, there's no danger of this fire extending to anything else now, but it could smolder for days. We also have gotten some comments from viewers about their water being brown. Officials say that's normal after fire crews use so much of the city's water. It should be back to normal by tomorrow. Live in the Lynchburg Newsroom, Claudia Rupsich, ABC 13 News. All right.